In this video, I am going to teach you the basics of biomolecules. You're made of biomolecules. Without them, there would be no you. So what do I mean when I sing you are made of biomolecules? It means that you are made up of four biomolecules. And those same four biomolecules are necessary for life. They are found in all living things. They are the building blocks of life. So let's think about it. These biomolecules, they will combine together to make organelles. And organelles make cells, and cells make tissues, and tissues make organs, and organs make systems, and organ systems make organisms, and we are organisms. So without these biomolecules, without these building blocks, there would be no you. There would be no me. They are necessary and found in all living things. Think of biomolecules like Legos. One Lego would be a monomer, one, and these monomers will combine together to make a polymer which would be the biomolecule, also known as macromolecules, big molecules. The names of these big biomolecules, macromolecules are carbohydrates, lipids, proteins, and nucleic acids. Do any of those sound familiar? Well, they should because you hear about them when we talk about food. You find biomolecules in your food. You get the biomolecules from the food you eat. Your food is your fuel to build you up and to help you go and carry out the functions necessary for life. For example, if you eat some protein, that protein will be broken down by your body to make more proteins to build your body how cool is that? Let's talk about carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are known to give you that quick source of energy. They are your fast energy source. We also call carbohydrates sugars. The monomer of a carbohydrate is called a monosaccharide. That's pretty fun to say, monosaccharide. And if you get a monosaccharide and you add it to another monosaccharide, you get a disaccharide. And then if you get so many added together, we call that a polysaccharide. We find carbohydrates in food like potatoes, fruits and veggies, breads, and pasta. Carbohydrates have a ring-like structure and they have the three elements, carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Now let's talk about lipids. Lipids are also known for energy, but they are known for energy storage, long, term energy. Our body also needs lipids for insulation and protection. They help to keep us warm and they help to protect our internal organs. Our cell membranes are made of lipids and that's pretty important since all living things are made of cells. You find lipids in foods like oils, butter, and fatty meats. I like to teach my class hand signs to help to remember the structure of biomolecules. And this is what I consider to be a lipid. Let me show you why. A lipid can have a glycerol with up to three fatty acid tails. This is called a tri glyceride and notice that these tails are nice and long if you take one away this would be a diglyceride and then it can also even have only one fatty acid tail i also like to think of it as like an e so if you see a structure with long like tails attached to a backbone that is going to be a lipid now let's talk about proteins. I love proteins just because they are so complex in their functions. Proteins make up enzymes. Proteins build your muscles. Proteins make up antibodies and help your immune system. Proteins do so much for your body. You can find proteins in foods like beans, meat, eggs, and nuts. The monomer of a protein is an amino acid and amino acids bond together to make proteins. In my song, I like to say amino acids bond to make proteins. 
You should think of them like bees arranged on a string. Again, a monomer is an amino acid and amino acids come together to make protein. And depending on the number and the order of those amino acids will determine the function of the protein. My hand sign for proteins, just because they end up folding into a certain structure, I just have a fist and a fist. These are my amino acids and they bond to make a protein. And our thumb could be like the peptide bond that holds the protein together. Amino acid monomer, amino acid monomer come together to make the polymer of a protein joined by a peptide bond. Last, but certainly not least, are the nucleic acids. Your DNA and RNA are your nucleic acids. You know that DNA holds your genetic information. It makes you who you are. The monomer of nucleic acids is a nucleotide. And this is my symbol for a nucleotide. So if you think about it, a nucleotide has a five carbon ring sugar in the middle. It kind of looks like a pentagon or at least a portion of it right here. And you also will have the nitrogenous base right here. And this will be the phosphate group. There are three parts to the nucleotide, the sugar, the phosphate, and the nitrogenous base. If it's DNA, it'll be double stranded. So boom, here is another nucleotide. We know that it is anti-parallel and the nitrogenous bases are joined together by a hydrogen bond. All four biomolecules have the three elements, carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Proteins also have nitrogen. So proteins have carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen. Nucleic acids also have phosphorus. So nucleic acids have carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and phosphorus. How are you going to remember that? No worries, I got you. There is an easy way to remember which biomolecules have which element. All you have to do is think about the order in which we talked about them. Carbohydrates, lipids, proteins and nucleic acids. Cho, cho, chon, chomp. And if you remember that, then you will know which biomolecules have which atoms. So let's do a little chant with it. Cho, cho, chon, chomp. Cho, cho, chon, chomp. Cho, cho, chon, chomp. Are the biomolecules composition. Cho, cho, chon, chomp. Cho, cho, chon, chomp. Cho, cho, chon, chomp. Are the biomolecules composition. The biomolecules have carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. When you get down to proteins, you now have chon, which is also nitrogen. And then finally, nucleic acids, you have chomp, which is also nitrogen and phosphorus. Yes, I do have a song about biomolecules and as soon as I'm done making the video, I will provide a link below.